Greetings adventurers, today we are making a Viking hood. Well, you are. I'm making a very small one for demonstration purposes. Be prepared that this is potentially going to take a little bit of trial and error. You might have to resize things if you find out that it doesn't fit. So have a little bit of extra material on hand just in case you need it. There are a couple of ways to get the measurements for this, and the easy one is to use this simple formula, where x equals 12 inches or 30.48 centimeters, and then the rectangle is x times 4, or 48 inches, or 121.92 centimeters. The problem with this is that the diameter of your head might be too large for this to fit, in which case x should be the circumference of your head divided by 2. If you put the whole thing together and then find that you can't fit your head through, this actually means that you need smaller squares so the opening on the inside is bigger. So in my case, the back of my hood is a 12 inch square and the front of my hood is actually an eight inch square. And the measurements of the rectangular piece do turn out to be 12 inches by 48 inches, but it's actually a 24 inch by 48 inch piece that I folded in half so the hood is a double folded material. No matter how you get your shapes, cut out the shapes in your fabric. If you're having trouble cutting a straight line, Line, fold your fabric over the line you were trying to cut out and then cut along the fold rather than trying to have the fabric lay flat. We're going to have to sew the whole thing inside out so that the seams end up on the inside of the hood, which is good if you're like me and you're not great at keeping your stitches aligned. So when I refer to the face of the fabric, what I'm referring to is the outside of the hood. And also when I refer to the squares, I am referring to the square pieces, but just remember that by the time it's done, when everything is orientated, they're actually going to be hanging in a diamond shape. So the corners of the squares will be facing at 12, 6, 3, and 9 o'clock when we're done. Lay the rectangular piece face up and line the side of one of the squares on it face down. So the outsides are touching each other. Sew these together and then do the same on the other side with the other square also face down, and when you're done, you should have this long T shape. The side of the square which faces the body or the top of the T is what is going to be sewn later. So the two that face the other square respectively and then the bottom of the hood are going to be the sides that hang straight down here. So make sure that these ones are either the ones that you cut the most straight or hem the edges so that all of them are straight. Fold the rectangle in half towards the head of the T. The hood should now be inside out. On the square closest to you, grab the side which faces towards the top of the hood and bring it diagonally towards the bottom of the hood. In this shape, it should look very much like the hood is going to when it's done. To make this easier to sew, grab the edges of both the square and rectangle and allow the rest of the material to fold underneath. The edges you are about to be sewing should now be lying face to face and on the opposite side of you. So. The last side is always the trickiest side, but should only require aligning the square facing the top of the hood to the bottom right corner. The sides that you are sewing should meet at one of the corners. If they are parallel, it means that you are sewing a square in the front, not a diamond, so keep this in mind. There now should be one large opening at the bottom, and then two openings on either side of the rectangle. Sew one of these completely closed and the hood is complete. Flip it inside out and you're done. 